All right, all right, guys. Welcome to Rant and Chill. If you like to, uh, if you like Nima Phila, this video is for you, man. One uh, percent. Hey, and if you like this channel and like what I do here and wish to support me, you know what you can do: press the like button, share, subscribe, and you can also become a patron if you so wish. The link is always in the description box below, and uh, I would be very much appreciated uh, appreciative of that. With that said, let's get into this. This is essentially a Nimophila hype video. We're talking about what Nimophila has been doing, and they've been doing lots of great stuff here. Let's put this on the screen, okay? Because showing is better than telling. This right here is Nimophila announcing that they are going to be playing live, not just anywhere, but at the Budokan, all right? Uh, very good, very good stuff. That is, that is pretty cool. Uh, the Nippon uh, Budokan. Now, that place, I believe, a simple Google search. I, I, I don't know. This could be wrong. Seats about uh, 14,000. Uh, a little bit more than that. Um, maybe even more. I'm not sure. That's a simple Google search. I've seen, obviously, I've never been to the venue before. I've never been to, to Japan. I wish to change that one day. But I've seen Baby Metal perform there. You know, live on, via stream when they had that event during the uh, lockdown days. Um, and it would be very impressive to see Nemophila play there. I am very sure they will stream this. I don't know. I don't know. I, I maybe it's already been announced and I missed it. I don't know. But in, in but I, uh, I would, I would. I'm very hopeful that they will. Okay, it's very possible, and they seem to be very adept with that. Uh, uh, you know, with using live streams. So I think it would be something that they would do uh, for those overseas that would pay good money to see it. I mean, good money for a live stream. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but this was earned. Nimifila earned this by being not just really good, but consistent and putting in the work. I mean, when they started, I remember when they started and uh, a lot of people thought they were just a cover band. Because they were very active on YouTube. Keep in mind, when they started, uh, the world had drastically changed, right? Uh, there was lockdowns and stuff. And bands really couldn't perform or do anything to really make the money that they would normally make. And they had to adapt. They used that time not to just lay low, but they used that time to pump out content on YouTube. To engage with their audience, build up a fan base, and just be consistent with it. And... I found them from that. You probably found them from that, right? Right? I mean, they they put in the hours on that. And even after that, uh, as soon as they could, as soon as they could start playing live again, they did. They went to shows. They went to Neon Yeon and played with Shoya and Godric Spin and uh, I think people of Mary's Blood. And I, I'm not exactly sure what the lineup was in, in that particular year. Uh, but I think they've, they've, they've definitely done that several times. Um, they played at various venues in Japan. We know they came to the States uh, the first time the Whiskey Go-Go, which was an interesting thing. The first time doing it, it was, uh, I think the main complaint was the crowd was just stiff as a board. I think they were, um, they were amazed that they're even seeing it. You know, first time when the first time I saw, uh, Nimifila, uh, was at uh, the scout bar and seeing him on stage, I was like, Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. So I understand that reaction, but but you learn to get over that. I mean, you just they're there. Enjoy it. Enjoy the music, you know? Uh, but even after that, they continued to play, continued to, to to tour. They've done many tours. Um so definitely, definitely earned here. Uh I mean, we can take a look at this here. Look. Uh let's see. This is the Seize the Fate tour where they played in Japan. Uh, their the Seize the Fate album. They also played some songs off their the pre. Uh, well, the, they only have two albums right now. Although that will that will change very soon. They, you know, they played a, a number of venues there in Japan, and they even came uh, to the U.S. to try to dominate, which I think they did pretty well. Um, they play. They hit up places in Sacramento, San Francisco, Los Angeles. They even played the Scalp Bar, little old Scalp Bar in Houston. Uh, next time they come around. I don't think they'll be playing out of the scout bar. I don't think so. Uh, maybe they will for, uh, I don't know, for some reason. But I think next time they come around, I think the tickets will be a little bit more, and rightly so. Uh, and then that was just the beginning. Uh, after that, they 
uh, started touring with other bands, as you see here, of Japanese bands like Rodden, <coughs> Grafty, and uh, uh, let me see if I get, let me see if I get the pronounce pronunciation correct this time. Uh, Anabia, oh, probably did not do that. Ana Hanabe, Hanabe, Hanabe. That's that's how you pronounce it, right? Hanabe, Hanabe. Not that Hanabia or any of that Hanabe, right? Is that how you say it? Is that is it is that Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Very, very busy. That's not just it, though. I mean, they're still touring this year. Uh, they continue to hit various shows. They'll be hitting lots of shows in November and December and uh, then early, uh, you know, in January in Japan. And keep in mind, as they do this, uh, their drummer, Tamu, has two kids, two little ones. Okay. And Mayu, their singer, as a child too so while they're doing this they have uh little ankle ankle biters that they have to uh take care of and i think sometimes to go to the shows they have like a um like a daycare sort of arrangement in the back from what i've read in interviews and stuff so they have that so what what i'm saying is this band i'm very impressed by their growth i'm very impressed by uh, what they have done in such little time they're able to just just hit it hard and just constantly work constantly play shows and just 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 do it and um they seem to have a really good synergy it, like i don't i don't see knock on wood it is a japanese band it is an all-female japanese band we know from for prior bands anything can happen and a lineup can change but they they seem good like like if you were gonna if they were a stock they seem like a pretty good stock to put your bet on okay put your money in okay like that's what i'm saying here okay they seem very consistent uh and i'm impressed you're probably impressed by it um you may not like every song they have but they 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 do a great job um consistently and they perform well they play well have you ever seen them live? You know what I'm talking about. Even your least favorite song probably sounded amazing there at the venue because the energy is just good. Tell me this, brother. Tell me this. Let's say you like Nimi Filler, right? You probably do. You're watching this video. Let's say Style. Do you like Style? Maybe you don't. But if you heard Style live, I'm sure you have. And if you did, what did you think of it live in the moment? There's certain times there might be a song you don't really like, but when you feel it when they're playing, because there's a component when you when you when you're there live, it's not just hearing it. It's it's like feeling it, you know. Um, it's it's totally different, and like they, they're just they're just amazing. They're just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really impressed with this. They're doing a great job, and I hope they continue. And I, I it's just it's just gonna be. So I'm I'm looking forward to February seventeenth and. I am hoping there's going to be a live stream for this. Let's check this tweet one more time. Let's see if there's a anything. There's a pre-order is available now. Uh, pre-order for tickets? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yes, you could you could pre-order. You could pre-order. You can pre-order it right here if you want to go there, okay? I don't know what it's like to order tickets in Japan. Don't do not do this and go there and then all fall apart. Be like, Mr. Deadman, you set me up. I don't know. I don't know. You know, that's on you. What do you want to do, okay? I can't really do that right now. I wish I could. What I can do and what I think will happen is maybe possibly that'd be a live stream uh for it as well for those in the, in the states i mean if babe metal can do it they can do it too it's not that complicated you just set it up for a live stream and there you go right and people pay pay tickets for it it means more revenue for the band so why wouldn't they do it um you know it's something that a lot of bands have been taking advantage of. even love bites have been taking advantage uh taking advantage of that and some people say Love Bites is kind of slow on the roll on some things. They have been, but they, they have been getting better. 
Um, so with that said, if Nimifila doesn't do a live stream of this, I would be asking questions like, uh, okay, what happened? And then I would be like, okay, well, there is going to be a DVD or Blu-ray. Okay, there is going to be that. You are recording this event. If you're not live streaming it, you are 100% recording it. If you don't do that, I don't know what you're doing. Fire your manager. I don't know at that point. Jeez, because that's that's easy. That's just extra money to make off of that live show and uh, every it, just yeah. Anyway, <sighs> with that said, you guys let me know what you thought about it. Uh, if we think there's gonna be a live stream for this, um, uh, what your favorite name of Phyllis song is, and if you've seen them live and. And all that, all that stuff, man. Tell me, tell me it all, man. And if you ever want to do a live stream with me and talk to me about how uh, you're a Nimophila fan, how you like the music and stuff like that, dude, I could talk for hours about that. All right. I will ask you, hey, how do you discover that band? What was your favorite song? And tell me about that. And you have no idea. Those little questions will, will create a whole hours, hours of just conversation, just, just chilling. That's, that's what I like to do. That's what I like to do, man. Uh, with that sort of, with that said, you guys uh, take it easy and have a good one.